I'm going to cover the most important jar among the six jars and it's called the FFA jar or the Financial Freedom Account jar. Every month from our earnings, we should be taking out a portion and putting it into this jar so that it will continue to grow and grow and compound. So the concept here is we invest first before we spend. This is your golden goose. So we have to take care of it and we grow it well. We never kill the golden goose because this is what will give us that financial freedom at the end of the day. So what do we need to do? So all this money that goes in, it must be put towards instruments that would generate us more income in the future and preferably passive income too. So we should be looking at building a balanced and diversified uh, portfolio. So when I say diversified, it means we should have varying risk profiles, maybe something that's low risk, moderate risk, and some with higher risk as well, because those could actually set us free. We should also look at instruments that are local versus those that are abroad. Uh, perhaps, you know, uh, you may have some that are based in Malaysia, in Singapore, and then we could look at those markets that are further away uh, that you can access through uh, different companies like you know offshore mutual funds, managed funds, uh, forex investments, and so on. We should also diversify by looking at short term versus long term, so that uh, we know you know if we need to have access to our funds for some reason, for some drastic reason, we can in the short term versus the long term. And what are some of these examples uh, of investments that we can that we can make? So I'd say you know, uh, real estate is a very popular one that that people use. There's also the volatile and the rather risky crypto. Some people invest in businesses. It could be even like MLM. Uh, that's totally legitimate. Some people would buy stocks, and some would look at managed funds. You could have a professional manager manage funds and invest in different instruments like gold and silver, uh, crude oil, in forex and so on. That is actually my favorite. Managed funds is something that I really love because professionals help to look after my money and they invest it and they take a performance bonus. So if you're interested to find out more about managed funds, you can let me know and I'll be more than happy to share with you information on managed funds. So there are a few rules behind this financial freedom account. First of all, do not withdraw from it, ever. Okay? What happens to the profits that are generated from here? That is really up to you. You could either choose to reinvest it entirely, or you can go through the whole cycle of the six jars again. From the profits that you derive, uh, then you could allocate it again to the six jars. But this is really up to you. If you want to grow uh, or, or to have your ticket to financial freedom even more quickly, then you reinvest all of the profits into this financial freedom account again so that it would quickly compound. Okay? So I hope this really helps you to set aside this mindset that we must put aside a certain amount every single month from everything that we earn. And the question is, how much should we set aside? The recommended amount is 10% from your earnings, right? 10%. Uh, you may vary it depending on how much you earn. If you earn more, you might want to put more towards this financial freedom account. But bear in mind that don't leave it as an allocation in the bank, but use it. Put it towards uh, generating more income for you quickly. Alright, so I hope that helps you and all the best as we journey towards financial freedom.